So here we are in Substance Painter. I'm gonna grab some uh, HDRs. I'm gonna be stealing some HDRs from Substance Painter now. And um, I open just a sample file here. And I have a two monitor setup. So let me show you the shelf. Here in the shelf, uh, we have the environments tab. So let's click with uh, a right mouse button here, showing Explorer. Here we have all the EXR files. Now make sure uh, you click here in the file path, Ctrl C and copy that path. We will be using that in Blender after. So here in Substance Painter, uh, let's see, let's select the simple Bonifacio Street and turn the environment opacity uh, up. Now we can see we have the, the environment here applied to our mesh. And let's replicate this effect inside uh, Blender 2.8. So let's open it here. But now uh, we have uh, a new look dev mode here, which is the icon from left to right, the third one. And here we have the shading option, which allows us to select different HDRs. So this is the ones that comes default with Blender 2.8 but we can add, add our, our new ones here, coming to the user preferences tab, it's the little uh, engine icon they have here. And here we have a new button called add look dev HDR. Uh, it will open a file window. Now we can paste our uh, file path and we can click here on the thumbnail preview so we can preview the HDR we are selecting. So here's the Bonifacio Street we are using inside Substance Painter. Now we can come here and select it from the main uh, preview. Uh, notice that we can also turn the background here and rotate it as much as we want. Uh, now you can see uh, it will always come with a blurred uh, version, but you can also preview it in the render view as well. The problem with the render view is that the world is actually a material. So it's different for you to preview in the look dev mode and in the render view. If we want to apply the HDR in the render view, you actually need to open the shader uh, window. So to do that, we can simply click here, drag to the left, come here to the shader editor, and select from object to world. You can click here in use notes and it will create this general uh, note setup for us. We can simply also change the background color here. But now what we need to do is click Shift A, search and search for an environment texture. Notice that a environment texture is different from a regular uh, image texture. The image texture doesn't come with the mapping um, specified for HDR uh, previews. So if you have a HDR file, which, are, which is a, a EXR file, and use a image texture node, it's not going to be the same eff effect as the environment texture node. So stay up to that. Uh, let's open here uh, the same file path here in the thumbnail preview and select our Bonifacio Street uh, HDR and plug it in here. Now you can see we have the mapping and we have the same view as our view in Substance Painter. So this is great. Now uh, look at what happened if we use the image texture node. Nigo, what? Boom. It doesn't appear. That's why the mapping uh, for this node is it's different. So you actually need a environment texture. And this is kind of confusing because as as well when you select uh, the file, it doesn't show you which which type of node is that, only the name of the of the file. So uh, you need to uh, mark that up. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, until next video. See ya.